So, um, anyone seen that video of Brett the Hitman Hart getting tackled by some Looney Tune uh, during WrestleMania? Right? Number one, if you're a man, if you're a grown up and you're still watching WrestleMania, how? Just tell me how. How are you still watching WrestleMania? I just don't get it. How are you still watching wrestling? I just don't get it. Maybe it's the thing of like, um, maybe it's a consequence of the fact that gaming has kind of come up again, right? So, all the kind of you know, um, how would you call it? Not infantile, but all the sort of like childish things we used to do back in the day have sort of reared their ugly head again, right? They've all come back into vogue. And I guess if you're a wrestling fan, and you're seeing all these gamers getting all the love and getting all the fucking money from Twitch and shit. And, you know, they're, they're going on Good Morning America and they're on Good Morning Britain and all this sort of stuff, all the traction on social. It's annoying because you've got your own little niche that you like, right? It's a bit, it's a bit cheesy, a bit corny, it's a bit dumb, but it's your own thing that you like. So you still go into wrestling. But I think with the advent of UFC MMA, with the advent of, you know, um, the jiu-jitsu thing that Eddie Brother, what is it, the Eddie Brother Invitational, right, all those sort of things, the event of um, other mixed martial arts organisations with boxing being um, better than it's ever been, like especially with most of the other divisions, maybe not heavyweight, but the other divisions are really cool and really stacked up and with just, you know, the access to other sports you can watch, streaming online, maybe a set for baseball, like I just don't see where the appeal of wrestling would still come from, like it's not, it's even more faker than it looked back in the day, right? It's um, it's not, it's not. I think they kind of play on the fact that it's a bit pastiche. It's a bit like um, slapstick. And um, yeah, I just don't get it personally. But again, people got their things. WrestleMania was this weekend, and Bret the Hitman Hart was getting inducted into the WrestleMania, um, the WWE Hall of Fame, I'm assuming, right? And here he is, you know, doing his thing, setting his speech, and then this absolute loony tune of a fan decides to come in and rush the stage, rush the ring, basically. And what you're thinking with this video, watching it, is that you know, like. Of all the places to go and rush a stage, probably the wrestling match isn't probably the best thing to do, right? It's like someone coming in and trying to streak in the UFC octagon. Probably not the best place to do your political stance, right? Because someone's going to clock, someone's just going to give you a spinning round ass kick to the back of the temple and then you're going to be lights out, right? But here comes the video. Here he is. Absolute Looney Tune comes on stage and kind of tackles Bret Hitman Hart to the floor Why for some reason. And then Travis Brown, in the, I think that's Travis Brown in the suit there, gets on top of the guy and absolutely pummels him punch after punch after punch after punch after punch after punch right he just gets on top of him and he's just like punching and it's funny because they try and get him off him is this woman's talking nonsense he's 26 supposedly but it wasn't long before security and other wrestlers like Xavier Woods, Tyson Kidd, and Curtis Look at look at Travis Brown just punching him repeatedly. At first, the audience looked stunned. I wish I'd, I wish we could see the. Let me take me off. I wish you could have seen a video or picture of the guy after this incident because it looks like he got absolutely smashed to smithereens. Because even when he's walking out, because now you know they're, they're Travis Brown still on top of him, still banging and punching him in his head. They're dragging him out of the out of the out of the ring. And even when he's getting dragged out, he's still getting punched, right? They're still punching him and uppercutting him again and again and again and again and again and again. It's just fucking insane how much he's getting hit up. Um, and again, I just don't know what kind of drives somebody to jump in a, a ring like that and tackle a wrestler, especially with all these kind of freaks outside the ring who may or may not be on PEDs or whatever it may be called. It's absolutely insane. Look, he's getting punched again, uppercut, punch in the face. Like, it's fucking insane how much he's getting hit. Um, I don't get. I don't get why he did it. It's just fucking insane. Like everyone just shocked, looking at what's happening. Like, oh my god, just an incredible scenes. Um, WrestleMania doing what WrestleMania does for the most part. And the best, especially that that kid's meant to be some sort of like wrestling fan or some shit. Um, M sorry, a rest M MMA fan. Um, he's a bit of a nut job. It looks like from the sounds of what people are talking about online. Um, there's people bringing up tweets of his where he's kind of you know been tweeting at various people from the wrestling organization and sending weird kind of messages to them. Most of which have been ignored. But you know, that's when trolls. I think we've seen the evolution of trolls, isn't it? Trolls actually coming um, up, up and from behind the computer and actually attacking people in real life, which is quite scary considering how wacky trolls can be with most things. Um. He's been charged with assault, it seems like, right? This is on, um, where is it here? Jesus Christ, been charged with assault. Uh, this guy's a fucking nut job. <laughs> it felt like the right moment. Is this guy real? <laughs> Let me put this on the screen. It felt like the right moment. What, to get yourself beaten up, you idiot? Like, oh, my God. God. Moments at the WWE oh my god, this is absolutely insane. In absolutely Saturday insane. Night. Okay, let's pause. We've already seen the video. But anyway, New York authorities say a spectator faces assault uh, and 
trespassing charges after tackling wrestler Bret Hitman Hart while giving his speech during the WWE Hall of Fame ceremony in Brooklyn. Uh, bells were set for $1,500 for Zachary Madison of Lincoln, Nebraska. At a hearing on Sunday, the judge also issued orders of protection by Madison from approaching Hart, who wasn't hurt, and a security worker. Other wrestlers helped subdue the attacker. Hart resumed his speech. Yeah, subdue is one thing, mate. He got fucking lit up. Prosecutor said in court that Madison told police that he felt like it was the right moment to go after the wrestling legend. His lawyer said that he is agreeable and cooperative and has no criminal convictions. Debbie described Madison as an over-exuberant fan. Madison has previous run-ins with a fighter in Lincoln. The old post citing police records reports Madison actually stalking mixed martial arts artist Harris. How can you stalk an MMA fighter? This is insane, isn't it? Several shocked onlookers posted footage of the incident online. Induction event resumed with Hart continuing his speech after the fan was taken to custody. At least one fan wasn't sure whether the attack was staged. Yeah, of course, the wrestling show. Second, like I remember that there was that time when I got really duped by this video. I'm not sure if, let me see if I can find it. But there was a video of um, Chris Jericho slapping a fan. And I got duped by it and I thought it was real, right? Chris Jericho slapping a fan. <laughs> It was fucking insane. It was in a car park somewhere. Somewhere I got duped by it. I saw it online. I thought it was real. Um, but obviously it wasn't. It was fucking all staged, right? Um, where is it? I think it might be this one. Let's see if I can get on and mute this. Unmute this, right? So I remember seeing this video online. And I thought this was real, but it wasn't. It was like, you know, it was all part of the fucking wrestling kind of game, right? The shebangs they play, which is quite cool, right? Because they basically don't get official. They basically let people on in the crowd record it. And they use that video as part of the promo. So these kind of potato recorded videos from really shitty smartphones. I didn't upload it, and they be and they and they frame part of the pro. They they frame part of the fucking narrative or storyline that Jericho would have next going on. And here he is, because he did full he did full Chris Jericho gear, right? Don't know what his real name is, but he's not. You know what I mean? He slaps a fan, bro. Like shit, absolutely insane, absolutely nutcase, bro. Like they're on edge as fuck. So yeah, I remember seeing that and thinking that was real and then someone telling me, no, mate, it was all part of the fucking storyline you idiot. And I was like, oh, whoops. But yeah, anyway, wrestling is wrestling is odd, man. I don't know how people still watch this sort of stuff. It's fucking bizarre. Maybe because it's like a live action movie, right? But it's like if somebody, it's like if they had like a Game of Thrones fighting championships. Would you actually watch that? Like, would you go around believing those people or could actually summon dragons and shit? That's a bit strange, right? They could actually, you know, magic was real that's a bit dodgy i'm not sure if i would be your friend if that was something that you actually legitimately believed in but again maybe it's not me maybe it's not my business but you know, it's not something i've kind of fully down where i think there's other things i can be spending my time doing but that goes without saying right because maybe my time isn't that valuable <laughs> but yeah absolute psycho of a man i don't know what he was doing what he was thinking but it didn't go how he thought it would go 